Hello, welcome to the channel. Today, in this video, I'm gonna go over an unboxing of the Haiku Series L fan. I'm also gonna go over the installation steps uh, to install the new fan, and then I'll also go over a quick review of what I think about the fan and some updates and changes that have happened over the last couple of years between the old fans and the new ones. So let's jump into this. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing. So first here on the top, we have a manual and how to connect with Alexa. I bought the smart version here. We have the installation manual. And so we'll want to save this for later. So here we have the airfoils. We have some of the wiring with the drop down post. We have the cover. Here we have the motor. And I'm gonna keep the motor on this styrofoam and you'll see why I like using this later. Another cover. We have the LED light itself. Remote control. Now I ordered the version with the Wi-Fi module built into it. So here's the Wi-Fi module. Hardware. Another cover. And the mounting bracket with your wires built in. So here's a look at all the pieces all laid out uh, from the fan. And I put a moving blanket down over the bed just because I'm gonna be removing the existing fan here in a minute, creating a huge mess. So let's jump into this. Okay, before we begin disassembling and removing the existing fan, we need to shut off the power. The last thing you want is to have power on and get yourself electrocuted and have your wife scream and yell at you. And I'm not speaking from experience here. Okay, so maybe I am speaking from experience. So first, let's get down to the garage and shut off the power. All right, first step, let's open up our circuit panel and let's shut off power to our fans. And if your circuit breaker box is labeled already, this will make it a little bit easier. Okay, let's test and see to make sure that the power's off. Looks good. All right, now it's time to go ahead and remove this old fan. Now that we have the ceiling fan removed, the next step is to remove this bracket because we're gonna be using the one provided by Haiku. Now it's important that once you remove these screws, we hold on to these because we're going to reuse these screws to mount the new mounting bracket. Now with the old mounting bracket removed, we can go ahead and install this new one. Now right here there's a label that says to essentially reuse the existing uh, screws that we had already removed from the other mounting bracket. So we'll take that off and let's use those old screws to mount this. Now, 
I use the power drill to get the uh, screws in close. Once it's close, I'm gonna switch back over to hand tightening because with these boxes that are uh, the electrical boxes, they're usually recessed in the ceiling. If you put too much torque on this, you're actually gonna pull the, uh, you know, you're gonna push into the electrical box, which is gonna push up on the drywall and kind of start exposing some screws or start cracking. So this is where you wanna switch back over to a screwdriver. And that's it, that's in place. Now we're gonna hook up the white wire, the black wire, and the green ground wire, which again, we have a ground, white, black. Now we're not gonna use this extra red wire, so I'm gonna use one of the caps that were used previously, and I'm just gonna cap off this red so it's not gonna be used. Let's go ahead. Now we'll use the uh, caps provided by Haiku, and when hooking these up, the solid wire from the electrical box, you want that a little bit shorter than the braided wire in the Haiku. So I have a little bit longer when using these caps, otherwise if you have it the same length, it pushes it down and won't give you a secure connection. And we'll do the same with the white. Again, making sure that the strand, stranded wire is a little bit longer than the core, solid core wire. And finally, the black wire. And that's it. Now we'll tuck them up inside. Okay, the next part is to attach the airfoils to the fan itself. Now each of these airfoils, what's interesting is they're actually hand balanced. So what you'll notice is each one has a number, one, two, and three, and on the motor itself, they correspond to one, two, and three. Again, these are hand balanced, so they're much more stable than traditional fans. So let's go ahead and line these up and use the provided screws. And when installing these, you'll notice that there is a lip or a ridge. One goes over the other one. So you can see where that lines up right here. All right, now that we got them all started, let's go and tighten them all down. And the next part, we will line up the three holes and put this cover on. Okay, now it's time to place the extension tube onto the motor itself. So first we wanna do is, you'll see a ground screw. So let's get that removed. Now, when installing this tube, we want to line up the arrows. So there's the arrow, we want to line these up. Now, I made the mistake earlier of putting the thin cable on the same side as the thin cable and the thick cable on the other si same side as the thick cable. Problem is it sticks out too far and doesn't allow the cover to go on. So what we want to do is put them on the opposite side. So the thin cable is going to be here and this situation is going to be on the right. The thick cable on the left and the thick cable here is on the right and the thin cables connectors on the left. You'll see why in a minute. So first we wanna do is let's hook up the cable. So we have our ground wire. So we're gonna screw that in here. Okay. Now on this side, let's put our safety cable. We'll have them go straight up. Now we're gonna slip these down. And again, we want the thick cable over the thin connector and then the thin connector over the thick 
connector. And so once that's down, we need to take this screw and nut and washer, and we're going to poke this through and put the washer and the nut on the other side. And this is where these two wrenches come in. So we'll hold this one. Now that's tight, let's move on to the next step, which is connecting the cables. So this is why if we were to push this straight down, you can see how it bulges out and it wouldn't work. So we need to wrap these around. And now we can go ahead and pull these tight. Okay. Now that we've pulled it tight, you can see how it's flush against the shaft here, which is going to allow us to put the cover over the mounting tube. Just like that. Now we need to install the mounting ball, but before we do that, we need to put the wiring cover. So we're going to place it upside down like this, and let's... Set that down. Now we're going to take the mounting ball slip that over and now we take the steel pin and place it through here and then the mounting ball is going to come up. You'll see the provision on the mounting ball where it can only one way it can go. And then we have this little wedge which we're going to stick inside the provision here and there's a screw hole right above it and you're not going to be able to push it down very far so that's when you take the screw put that in the screw hole and then follow up with the screwdriver there we go now we're ready to install the control box which is going to sit right on the shelf which is a nice improvement over the last first generation haiku l series fans which doesn't allow you to put it in backwards. You can't put it backwards. It has to go this way. So we'll set that there. And now we're ready to hang the fan. So when you pick up your fan, inside the mounting ball, there is a little provision. And that's going to actually line up with the provision inside the hole here. There you go. So now that's hanging, we just need to twist it until we find that provision. There it goes. Now that fell in, it's secure in place. Now what we need to do is connect the wires. So on the module, you'll see a smaller connector with the yellow and the larger connector with the black tape around it, and we'll just match them up here. Yellow and black. And on the other side, just like before, there is a screw inside where the ground is gonna go, and we'll just plug that one in there. And then some codes require a safety uh, cable, and if they do, you'll use that. Otherwise, just kind of tuck it up and hide it inside there. So let's get this all wired up. All right, now that we have the other wires all done, the last one is connecting this wire here to this. And once we do that, there's some 3M double-sided tape, and we're going to take this, and this will stick up there. So let's go ahead and get that all wired in. Okay, so we have that mounted to the 3M double-sided tape. Only two steps left to finish the mounting of the ceiling fan. Next, we're gonna take this cover and you can see where the arrows line up. We'll push this on. And once you have it on, it's just gonna be a twist to the right. There we go. So that's set. And lastly, one more arrow here, which we're gonna take the LED light and match the arrow up. 
same thing. We're going to line that up and there, and then it's just a twist to the right. That's it. We're all set. So let's go turn the power on and see how this works. Okay, moment of truth. Let's turn the power on. There we go. So on this fan, it's a little different from the first generation Haiku fan, where you can see the LED lights, the blue LED lights are in the middle of the fan. So if I was going to change the fan speed, for example, using the remote control, you can see those LEDs going around the LED light itself. On the first generation, it was actually up in the cover on that top part. So it's a little bit easier to see there, which is kind of nice. And then the light, you can all the way to full brightness and dim it all the way down as low as you want. And of course, off. Okay, so now that this is installed, it's working, let's go ahead and get the app uh, all up and running. The Haiku app, which actually has changed. Uh, the Haiku app is now the Big Ass Fans app. Um, so I guess there's a migration going on and there's uh, everything's moving over to that app. So let's go ahead and get that all set up. So now that the fan is installed, um, the last step would be to go ahead and hook up your fan to the Haiku app. So the old app used to be right here called Haiku. Now, recently they just migrated from this Haiku app over to the Big Ass Fan app, so this one no longer works, or it's not supposed to at least. And this is the new Big Ass Fans app. So this is where you would set up your new product. Now, I'm not gonna go through that right now, but you can add it on your own. I'm gonna go into our other room, which is our known as our Bison room here, and I'm gonna show you how it works. So as an example, let's say I wanted to control the fan. I can control the fan speed. seven, all the way down to one, turn it off. I can come and turn my light on, 22%, 58%, 78%, 100%, turn it off. And then you can, uh, a couple other things, you can do reverse for like winter time, whoosh, which is supposed to simulate like a natural breeze, uh, there's an economy mode, and this is where you can name the um, name the fan, and you can see uh, it's you know your all your basic settings. And one other thing is I already integrated this one with, let's just say Alexa. So you can integrate it with Alexa and with Google Home. So just as an example, I can say Alexa set bison room light to 50 percent okay so it's gonna have to be specific to whatever you name your room so this one's called bison room so i would say alexa set bison room fan speed to eight okay alexa set bison room fan speed to 100. okay there we go. So it's good. you have to be very specific about the speed. Alexa, set bison room light to 100%. Okay. Alexa, turn off bison room fan. Okay. So what's nice about these airfoils is, as you saw, there is no movement at all. They're all hand balanced. Um, so again, this is... In my opinion, this is the best fan that's out on the market. There are, uh, this Haiku L series fan is the entry level for big ass fans. I happen to like them a lot because they do have the integrated LED light and they have the option of uh, adding the Wi-Fi controller like I had added here. Now that the fan's installed and you have your app set up, the very last step would be to mount your remote control. So I'm gonna mount mine right here. And the first thing uh, that you want to consider is whether or not there's a stud beneath here. Now, there shouldn't be, but if there's not, then you can use uh, these 
which are included, or if there is a stud, then you can just remove these and just screw straight into the stud. So to double check, you can always check with the stud finder. And actually there, there is a stud right there. We'll just screw straight into the stud to make things easy. Now I'm not gonna drill all the way in because I don't wanna crack this plastic. I'll hand tighten the remainder. So I don't over tighten. And that's it. There we go. Okay, to wrap things up, this was an unboxing of the Haiku fan. Then we went ahead and installed it, uh, ran through the app and some of the integrations. Uh, now, my final thoughts on this fan is it's, it's my favorite fan out there. There are several other fans out there that are obviously not as expensive. However, this one having the airfoils makes them extremely efficient. They're actually considered the world's most efficient uh, fans as of this writing. Um, also, they're hand balanced, which means they're extremely quiet and there is no wobbling. The fact they have a built-in LED is nice because it provides lots of lighting and it consumes very little electricity. And my favorite is home integration. So the ability to link up with Google and also the ability to link up with Alexa. Um, and finally, my favorite is its ability to link up with SmartThings, which I use the Samsung SmartThings hub. And again, just allows you to integrate, use voice activation to be able to control the fans. They're extremely efficient. They look amazing and they look very modern. Now, if you found this video helpful, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this reviews, feel free to hit the subscribe button and I will catch you guys on the next one. Appreciate it.